It's an extra. It's an extra big deal because it's the first time that you've been uh, in front of an audience. You've been extra, extra, extra careful. I've been so careful. I've been as careful as so. So it's good to see people. <laughs> so good to see. I've been more careful than anybody I know. It's a, a friend of ours, Barry Diller, said Oprah had enough homes since the Civil War. True that. <laughs> um, but I, I, I came back from, from Atlanta just to be with you here today because we were down there filming The Color Purple. But, you know, I got a little emotional backstage because I saw your entire staff is back there. And I said to everybody, I know what this feels like with only a couple of days left. Yeah. And, and just was really applauding your team for making this show what it's been for nine years. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because... Obviously, you're the face out front, but it's everybody back there yep. that actually makes it work. Yeah, yep. I was just really tearing up saying, guys, what a great job you've done. Yeah, holding it, it, I, and, and, and they have, and I've been thanking them every, every single day, and they know how much I love them, and, and we're all feeling emotional because we have, after this, two more shows. Um, what did you feel like? What were your... Do you feel, do you remember your feelings exactly yeah. last well, week? Well, I guess I'm tearing up because seeing your staff actually triggered me for what it feels like when you have all of these people who have become your family. This has been your home. Yep. And I was talking to Ron, the audio guy who mic'd me today, who's been with you for 19 years. Yeah. And Ron said he was talking to his wife last night and saying, you know, I just wanted the kids to finish high school and now his kids are finishing college. And that's what happens with a show like this, where families come together, relationships are built, and it becomes home for, for you know, hundreds of people yeah. who are all supporting you yeah. and helping you be as great as you are. Yes. 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 Yes, it's, um, we talk about this all the time. There's, there's a very, very small group of people who understand what this job is yeah. and an even smaller group of women um, to go Correct. this long. So you and Everybody I, thinks that all you have to do is talk. <laughs> but there's a whole lot more than talking. Yeah, right. But there's magic that happens when you have the right group of people around you, and and it's it's. It doesn't happen without a great team. I mean, yeah. all these fun things and all the production that goes into making it look like it's easy, and you step out here and it's easy. That's why I got a little teary. Yeah. Seeing your How are you feeling? That's the question. I'm feeling today. I'm feeling good, and uh, I'm I'm trying to focus on. I've been talking to Jay Shetty a lot, who mm -hmm. I love, mm -hmm. and he's been helping me, and and you know he's just saying. Just, just celebrate. You know, there's emotion, and you can have emotion, but take just, just take pride in what you created and what happened uh, over 19 years. Yeah. Um, and that's and what that's, I just said to your team. Yeah. There's a lot of pride, and also this is the truth: there will never, ever be a time like this. I just said this to your team. You, you know, everybody's like, oh yeah, you're gonna go on, you're gonna go on, but you will never, ever have a time like this where you were held in the public's eye and received the joy in such a way that all of you came together and made, made that happen. There will be other things, there will be other great things, but there will never be a time like this. Know that these are the glory days. Yes, yeah, yeah. pr I'm trying to stay present in this and feel all of it because it's a lot of different things. It's and you are gonna be so missed. Isn't she gonna be so missed? <laughs> You are going to be missed. Thank you, Oprah. You Thank you. Thank you. I, I, uh, I hope so because that means that I made a, an impact, and I and I know that it, that's that's all we're called to do is yeah. to is to have meaning in our life, and I've learned that from you, and that's what you did for me, and getting to know you, um, and that's one of the beautiful things about this this career is that you get to meet I interesting people and get to be friends with well, them. Well, you've met everybody. And, yeah. you, I'm looking at your wall. There ain't nobody you haven't met. Yeah, but, that's... You know, <laughs> I'm saying everybody's going to miss you. I'm not, because you're my neighbor. I know. You're my yeah. neighbor. No, yeah. guys, you'll love this. During the... During... Okay, so I Wait, am... let's tell the story after the break. Okay. Let's take a break, because okay, okay, it's a, break. a very I'll funny story. Okay, okay. It's, okay. It's, it's, now you won't want to miss it. We're, okay. Really, we're not going to disappoint you. All right, you. I we'll, won't disappoint you. All right, we'll be back. Hey. We're back with my friend and my neighbor, Oprah Winfrey, so tell the story. Okay, so I've really been safe. And so Ellen called, and she had some friends visiting. We can say who it is. Okay, so Pete and... Pete, Pete Buttigieg, Buttigieg, and, uh, Pete Buttigieg and his husband, Chaston, were visiting. Were there, and she, I, you know, normally I would say, come on over, let's have cocktails. I said, okay, well, let's meet in the backyard. 
and because she's over the fence. So literally, Gail was there, and we go down to the backyard. She had a big backyard, yeah. I, I, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big backyard, but we're separated by a creek. So we get across on the other side, and we're still separated by the creek, and our social distance was, how you doing? <laughs> hey, Portia! Are you on the horses all tonight? I mean, it was... It, it was, was hilarious. So she's and Gail, you can imagine, she and Gail are on one side of the creek, and it's me, Portia, Pete Buttigieg, his husband, Chasten, and hikers are walking by, just staring at all of us. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> yes. Watching us talk to each other like that. But yeah, we will continue to see each other, but you flew in just for the day because you're doing the color purple in Atlanta, and yes. how is that going? Uh, our new director, Blitz Batwali, who's done some really beautiful things. And I must say, this is not your mama's color purple. Mm -hmm. We are doing the musical. So for people who say, why would you redo the color purple? I actually watched the color purple for the first time in 30 something years the other day. And there's nothing to redo. Spielberg did an amazing job. But we are, we are taking the musical that was on Broadway and turning it into a magical, realized, spectacular event. And I, I just can't wait for people to see it. I can't wait to see it. That's, no! That's gonna be you amazing. You gotta be there at the premiere. Can't okay. wait. Uh, please invite me. Okay. I'll have time. Um, <laughs> I got nothing. Um, and uh, let's talk about All Rise, which is coming over to OWN. You saved a show. Well, I love that show because anybody here watch All Rise? So fantastic. <laughs> Simone Messick. And it's just, it's loaded. It, it's it's to me, the epitome of what diversity and inclusion means. I mean, everybody coming through the door uh, represents what the country looks like. And I think the storylines are so great. And so it was a, a big uh, privilege for us to, to save that show. Well, and I'm sure and they're, they're thrilled. On OWN, you... coming to OWN, yeah, all that, rise. It's fantastic. Um, hey, speaking of Gail, uh, she, she's a grandma now. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is she trying to get the baby to call her? Gaia. Uh-huh. Which, Which means... means Mother Earth. I say... You're not Mother Earth. <laughs> you're not Mother of the Earth. You're just, you're just one grandmother. And you know what? The real truth is the baby, which is the cutest baby on Earth, I think, cutest baby, big head, cute baby, <laughs> big head. But I'm thinking the baby is going to... Babies decide for themselves, you know, what, what they want to call you. So I have to tell you, though, every time I see the baby, which I see the baby more than she does, and uh, every time I see the baby, I'm like, oh... <laughs> oh, Auntie O, oh, it's so easy to say, Auntie O. Oh. <laughs> so I'm thinking the baby's gonna say Eddie O oh, before the baby goes, Gaia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think you're correct. Um, yeah, should we take another break, Andy? Or, yeah, we'll take a break. More with Oprah after this.